Today we're going to be working on making a custom mini football helmet. Um, this one's going to be specifically going to be a Riddell Speed mini helmet. Um, I'm going to make one that is for a high school team, so not really one you can probably find and just buy online. Um, so I had to buy the parts for it, and so first we'll kind of get into the parts I need. So the first part you need if you're going to make your own mini helmet is you need the shell. Um, so right here are the hard helmet part, right here as you'll see, no face mask, but it does come with the chin strap. Um, the next part you'll need is the face mask. Um, this is purchased separately, that way you know you can mix and match whatever colors that you want. I got the red and the royal blue here, um, but pretty much any color you want, they're going to have to purchase. Um, a lot of websites will sell these pieces. I got mine from a place called scorehere.com, got the link down below in the comments, but um, there's a number of places you can buy the parts for. Um, and then the one other part that you need to make sure you get when you get these two is you need to buy some screws and clips. So I got a little bag here of the screws and clips. Um, those are not included when you buy the shell and the face mask by themselves, so you need to sure you have the clips. Score here has all of those, um, so pretty simple. So that is the first parts that you need. Okay, so now I have my helmet, I have the face mask, now I need the decals. So the decal part can be tricky, because if you're looking to just make one mini football helmet, a lot of the places that you can go to order decals, they're going to make you order a minimum of 12 sets, 15 sets, maybe even 25 sets of decals. So at that price point, you're gonna be spending a lot of money, you're gonna have a lot of leftover decals. Um, so if you're looking to print some, then that's great, it's gonna be cheaper. But if you're not, there are some other options as well that you have. And so for what I'm doing, I went to a place called Gridiron Football Helmets. Um, I have the link down below to them as well. And they make a lot of high school mini football helmets. And with that, they have a number of already printed designs that you can look up and since so many high schools copy other high schools for their logos, you might just find the logo you need. And for me, that's exactly what happened. I got these little Viking horns, so they look a lot like the Minnesota Vikings would have. Um, they already had these printed, and so I was able to buy them. There's $10 for a set of them for one, so um, much cheaper than having to buy 25 or 15 sets. Um, you know, If you're looking to print a lot, you can usually get a set for three, four, five dollars, but then you're gonna have to buy a minimum of 15. So if you need to go that route, see if you can find some other people who are interested in the helmets. So um, at that point, maybe you can make a few helmets um, for some other people as well, and then the cost will come down for you. So we have everything we need, now we're ready to put together. Um, the only tool you're gonna need to do this is a screwdriver, um, mini helmet, the parts are small, so I got myself a small screwdriver here. So let's get started. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is snap on the clips. So I've got four clips here to go on. Um, a couple things to keep in mind as you're putting this on is that these clips have a right way and a wrong way to go on. So if you're putting it in, this side has a little indentation on the top. That is going to be the outside part. That's where the screw goes into so it sits in nice and flush. So always make sure that's kind of facing towards you as you're putting these on. The other part is that um, the right location. So for the side ones, these come on from the outside and you push it on towards it. There's a little groove in there that sits in nicely. You get that in here, I'll do one over on the other side. And then here from the outside, it sits in there nicely, nice and clips. Now, this is a Riddell. If you have a shut helmet that the face mask a little different on there, the clip's a little different on there, so it might, it might look a little different with that one, but for Riddell, up here. So we go up to the top now. This very top bar is what we clip on. Again, make sure I have the right side there. And one more clip, put this in here. All right, so we got those in place, got all our clips on. Now we're ready to start screwing in here. Okay, so I got them all tightened in there so you can just kind of look. Make sure that you get the gaps nice and closed up here. Um, you can kind of see right there, we close them all in. Um, you don't want to tighten them too much, you don't want anything breaking, but you want to make sure that the face mask is nice and snug right here. Um, you know, if you have the clips backwards at all, it won't tighten, so you'll know that it's wrong. So if it's in there, it's fitting nice and good, you know that you have it on. So right there, I got the helmet, got the face mask on. All right, ready to move on to the decal. All right, so now it is time for the decals. Um, and one thing I like about these decals I got here are these, these are nice and thick. These are the real deal. So most, most companies that sell vinyl decals also sell decals for that teams actually use, and so they give you the real thick vinyl that's on. So these are nice and thick. The speed helmet here, um, sometimes you can run into the issue with the opening. You gotta try and figure out how you wanna navigate around that. If you have a big decal, it's gonna kinda hang over the back half of the helmet here. Um, and where I wanna start. So for me, what I'm gonna do, um, these are gonna be nice and long. 
they're gonna come back here they're gonna come over I'm just gonna try and clip it over the top a little bit so I don't have too much it's just going over the middle of that hole there um, so I'm gonna do that and since these are long they kind of get close to touching in the back um, I want to make sure that I get one on where I want it to be but the second one I'm gonna kind of start to because you want them to line up nicely um, you know lots of times you only gonna see one side so it's probably not the biggest deal you want it to look nice so let's go here so now remember they're two different ones, so they're made for each side. So you gotta make sure you're taking the right one out um, and not having the wrong one. So I've got this one here. This is gonna go on the right side for my helmet. Right there. So there we go. Got the decals on it. Got the face mask on it. Now one thing people like to do too is they like to put stuff on the, either the front bumper or the rear bumper. The Riddell helmets have a nice big bumper back here to put stuff on. Um, and so if you're ordering from a company that's gonna print the vinyl for you, a lot of them will have bumpers that you can order to to put back here. So you can put on the team name back here. Um, you know, you can do a front and back bumper, just the back one, the front one, just be a sticker that goes over this. Um, so you kinda need to make sure it's big enough to cover up the whole Riddell so you're not seeing the Riddell under it. Um, but you can put it back here to really help complete it. A lot of places will also sell like American flags if you want to put an American flag back here. Um, kind of all the different things you want to complete your helmets. So there we go. Complete helmet all put together ready to add up to the collection of helmets that I have right here. This in total probably costed me about $25. Um, you know if I was to be making a lot and I've ordered these in bulk it would have cost less, probably down about $20. One of the websites that make custom high school helmets, they usually run close to $50. So you can save a lot of money by making them by yourself. Um, you know, if, if you're able to get the decals at a reasonable price or kind of go in with a few other people to make the decals, um, it'll save you a bunch of money. But otherwise, it's pretty simple. It didn't take a lot of time to put this all together. Um, and there you go, I have it for $20, $25, pretty good deal.